cranky bugs. Thomas and Percy enjoy working in the docks. They like the sea air and the sound of the gulls. But one day, the friends were feeling hot and bothered. A crane was causing trouble. His name is Cranky, and this was his first day at the docks. Your useless little box, he called from above. If you put these freight cars on the inside lines, then I wouldn't have so far to travel. Rubbish, said Thomas. No crane has ever complained before. Well, I'm complaining now. And Cranky banged his load down on the quayside. Later, the two engines met Gordon and James and told them about Cranky. Cranes are airy, fairy things. They need a lot of attention. Like me, in fact, said Gordon. You should see the situation from Cranky's point of view, said James. He's high up in the air, coping with wind, rain, and baking sun. Then he looks out and sees you two little engines being annoying. No wonder he costs you bugs. When Cranky heard that the big engines agreed with him, he grew bossier still. Come on, come on, push those fry cars closer to me. But Percy was too upset to concentrate and pushed the fry cars too far. Poor Percy. Then, Cranky played a trick on Thomas. Push your fry cars onto the outside line. It's easier for me to load up. So Thomas did. But Cranky left the loads beside the freight cars, not in them. You must have known my arm can't reach you there, complained Cranky. This mix-up caused confusion and delay. Sir Topham Hat was most upset. Thomas and Percy, this new crane has an important job to do. I have heard that you have not been helping him today. You will go to your sheds and consider how you will improve yourselves tomorrow. Now Thomas and Percy were upset too. That evening, a big storm raged across the island. Cranky and the engines were trapped at the docks. We're sure to be safe in this shed, said Duck. But he was wrong. The engines had no idea they were about to be put in great danger by an old tramp steamer. It was out of control and running aground straight into the sheds. Ah! Help! called the engines from inside the shed. I can't! called Cranky. When the storm was over, Sir Topham Hat rushed to the scene of destruction. Thomas and Percy will help you, he called to Cranky. And then you can help the engines. Oh, please hurry, cried Cranky. And tell them I'm sorry I was rude to them. So it was you, murmured Sir Topham Hat. I own these engines, an apology. Thomas and Percy soon came to the rescue. And it wasn't too long before Cranky was upright again and clearing the wreckage. At last, all the engines were free. Oh, thank you, said Gordon. What would I have done without you? Wow, I had to be rescued before I could help you, but I never thought it would be by a couple of bu bu Cranky was about to say bugs, but he quickly corrected himself. Er, small engines. Thank you. I'll never be rude again. However, you two mites are in my way, so move over. Pah, said Percy. He's back to bugging us. Don't move. You're still attached to Cranky. But it was too late. Cranky still looks down on the two little engines. But ever since that stormy night, he never calls them bugs or mites, because he knows they might bite back. <laughs>